Hi, it's Kevin with Koopman Lumber Rentals. Today we'll be using the drum sander made by Essex Silverline, explaining a couple of the uses for the machine and how to operate the machine. Pretty basic stuff for changing out the vacuum bag for all of your sawdust. Take it off, empty it wherever you need, just open it up over that little flange, tie a knot there, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just enough to hold the bag on. For changing the sandpaper, it's as easy as Velcro. The pieces that come are pre-cut at a slight angle, so all you have to do is put one end into the channel on the drum, and then literally just roll the sandpaper onto your drum. That's all you have to do for changing the sandpaper. Close the door, and you're ready to begin sanding. With a drum sander, typically it would be used for non-tongue and groove flooring because of the aggressive nature of the machine. You always stay with the grain of your boards. Today we'll be demonstrating it on plywood, so it's not going to matter as much, but traditionally when you're sanding your floors, you want to stay with the wood grains. Twist lock plug. Make sure again it's in the off position before plugging it in. Line up our tabs. You'll notice I started in the rocked back position. There's a set of wheels under the machine that are used for transport. The machine will want to pull you forward and for starting you want to rock it back to the idle position or the transport position and then you can begin sanding. When sanding the floors, I like to roll it forward to where I'm going to begin and work my way backwards. The nature of the machine, as the drum is turning, it's going to want to pull you forward. So if you set it forward onto the drum when you try to work your way forward, you can easily lose control as you try to step forward or trip over your cord. So it's best to be mindful of your cord, set it down, and pull backwards as you're sanding. When choosing the correct sander for sanding your floors, you want to pick out if you have a tongue and groove flooring or if you have the traditional wide boards. If you have bad cups and bows to your boards, this machine will make quick and easy work of it. When sanding a tongue and groove floor, you don't know how much room you have between the top of the wood and where you're going to start to find the tongue and groove. Once you've sanded down to the tongue and the groove of the wood, there's no recovering. <laughs> 